Hello everyone, it's Vicky here today designing for Bramble Fox and I'm using perspectives from the November Fox Box. Uh, you'll see them just here. I have the Good Read um, with the books. Those are my perspectives and then I have, um, I'm going to use a brayer today and some shimmers, paints and some gesso. No, that's not gesso, that's texture paste. And I have a um, stencil as well. So here we go. I'm using this colour which is called Wisteria Lane and it's an original shimmer paint. It's very, very shimmery and glittery. So um, it looks really nice on the page. You can't see it very well on here, but it does look really nice. And I'm using my little brayer here and really I'm just making a mess on the page. <laughs> it it looks it looks messy, but I like to have a bit of a you know a messy watercolour -y background so um, that's all I do it's very easy it's quite tidy um, mixed media really as long as you make sure to keep clean the brayer off afterwards because you don't want paint stuck on there uh, that will make a mess and ruin your brayer so that's what I've done there and now I'm gonna it dries quite quickly because only a th thin layer and I'm gonna put some texture paste on and this is Ranger texture paste and this stencil is also from Bramble Fox, so I'll link you up in the description below. Um, but it's just lovely little squares, and it just adds a little bit of texture with as a pattern, you know, rather than than an actual um, shape. So I like how that happens. So that's it done. It's dry now, and I'm going to start to think about what I'm going to do here. And I've got this paper from Pink Fresh Studio, the Best Day Collection, and I want to go with sort of a monotone um, layout actually so I'm going to pick out the pinks and purples just a little bit of blue from here so I cut out these shapes here these pieces and I'm going to arrange them behind the photo so the blue is the only bit that doesn't fit in with the others because I'm going to add in some navy blue later it sort of um, pulls that across as well Okay, I'm going to cut the flower out of this one because I really like that little flower and I didn't want to cover it up by using it as a matting piece. In case anyone wonders, the scissors I use are um, cut of these scissors from EK Success. I don't, they're really hard to get hold of now, but um, that's what they are. I like them for fussy cutting, they work really well. Now, here are some embellishments also from the Pink Fresh Studio, what the best day collection. And I'm gonna just arrange some florals in there because I always have florals. My photo is of my Kindle and it's just the first page of a book that I'm reading. Um, I don't know if you can see it close enough to see what it is, but it talks about um, murder. So <laughs> it's um, the Thursday Murder Club book. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a good book, but um, yeah, perhaps I shouldn't have chosen something with murder on it, but you know, it was what I was reading, so it was, it fitted. So there we go. So I've added some embellishments on there. I'm going to pick a couple of things off of this chipboard sheet as well. That one says photo op. I'm just peeling the back off of the chipboard because I don't want to commit to where they're going yet, but um, that's why I'm doing that. So that says love this and then this little arrow is the perfect colour and it just says this with an arrow pointing. And this one says so happy, which I always am when I'm reading. I read every day so um, yeah, it's my uh, go-to thing to do. Now these are a Hip Kit Club exclusive uh, puffy, alf puffy sheet. Um, I just that says happy place. It actually said our happy place, but I cut the our word off so that it just says happy place. And there's a flower there in that. That's also a hip kit exclusive packet, as is this. And there's a pair of glasses in here somewhere. I saw them on the back, so that's what I'm digging through specifically for. There we go, pair of glasses. So that's what I wanted. Um, just go well with the reading theme that I have going on here. Okay, so what am I doing next? I think probably I'm getting to the point where I'm happy with the layout. There we go, I took a photo of it. I'm happy with how it looks, so now I need to start sticking things down. And I took a 
took that photo so that I remember where everything goes because once I pull it apart I'll never remember. So I'm just doing these very neatly, um, just sticking them together in place so that I don't have to move them. So it's just a bit of wet glue there that I'm using and it sticks them together and once that's stuck I know that they can't move apart and they're in the position that I wanted them to be. So now I've just waited for that to dry just for a minute or so and then I'm going to stick it down. I think. <laughs> no, I'm going to put some foam onto the back of the photo first. So that's just um, sticky back foam that I'll put it on there and then I'll stick the um, the foam to the, bat, the mat separately. I'm just playing around with a few things. That's my um, ATG gun, so tape, double sided tape, I'm just going to stick that to the mat and then stick the mat directly to the page. And I find that that double sided tape sticks well to the mixed media. So my next thing is to make sure that my um, perspectives are down and I'm just using glossy accents for this. Um, I sometimes use my wet glue but just because of the texture underneath I wanted to just use this one because it's just slightly um, thicker and you know I think it will stick slightly better. It's running out actually I need to get some more. It's gone very yellow. I don't know if that's a thing but mine has gone quite yellow. Okay so now I'm going to start to put on my embellishments and I've got my photo that I took earlier as reference here. So I know where everything's going. That's how I'm putting it back on so quickly. <laughs> okay, I'm thinking about where to put happy place. That looks nice there. Just putting on all of these little bits and pieces that I had from before. I think I forget to stick down a couple of the pieces and I actually stick them off camera. Took a bit of the extra white off, off around those glasses. There was a bit too much at the top for my liking. And I start to stick things out. I think the flower and the photo op I forget to stick down and um, that's why I have to go back to them. <laughs> there we go. I think we're getting very close to the end now. Quite a simple, straightforward monochrome layout, which I'm really happy with. And uh, yeah, there's the final version. I hope that you like it and it gives you some inspiration to get messy with a bit of mixed media. The stencils from Bramble Fox are fantastic, so please do check those out. I'll list everything I used below. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. This has been Vicky for Bramble Fox. Until next time, bye bye.